Hello everyone. Welcome to the SimLab DOE with parametric scripting video tutorial. We begin with the parameters group. The first step is to create the necessary SimLab parameters. Each parameter that is created must have a name, type, and value provided. In this case, five parameters are used, each corresponding to a distinct physical entity. It is crucial to create all the parameters that will be used later before the recording process begins. This approach prevents potential issues where the script might overwrite the DOE parameter value with a value set during the recording phase. To use automation, go to the Automation ribbon, choose Scripting, and set the working directory. It's important that the working directory contains both the final script and the input geometry. Return to the Automation ribbon, choose Scripting, then Record. From here on, all actions on the screen will be recorded. SimLab records the steps in a SimLab script text file with the name of the working folder and updates the file dynamically after each operation. You can also open it in a text editor application to view the details of the recorded steps. SimLab records each operation in two Python commands, a long string variable and a specific Python command, SimLab execute string name. The model is imported using the translate to parasolid option. We then verify the key dimensions of the geometry and create template-based face groups. In this case, we only need the body as input and we can extract different face groups. We will then use these groups for modeling purposes. Our goal is to avoid manually selecting specific faces, as that would involve hard-coding face IDs into our script, which would compromise the parametric nature of our design. We navigate to the Mesh ribbon, select the Mesh Control tool, choose the Fillet option, and define the length, size, and number of elements for uniform curvature as parameters. We then apply these options to the Fillet Face group and click OK. We proceed to the Tet Mesh option. In this step, we utilize the Mesh Size parameter and ensure that the surface mesh entries are edited as well. Subsequently, the groups must be incorporated into the meshed body entity. To do so, we navigate to the groups browser and transfer the groups faces from CAD to mesh. This action aligns the existing CAD faces with the current mesh body, creating mesh faces in the process. Afterwards, we proceed to the Solutions ribbon and create a linear static solution. We then proceed to create RBE2 and RBE3 connectors based on the previously created face groups. It is important to ensure that the node ID is a number that is significantly higher than the total number of nodes, as this will be hard-coded into the script. We then define our parametric load and add the necessary constraints to our model.
We ensure that the solver settings are set up correctly to ensure the process is as robust as possible. Finally, we create a material with parametric Young's modulus and assign it to our model. We are then ready to solve. Afterwards, we create two responses based on the extracted results. Once all the aforementioned steps have been completed, the recording can be stopped and the script saved. For validation purposes, a new database is created. Parameters are imported into this database, edited, and the previously created script will be run. We check to see if everything went smoothly and without any unexpected behaviors. After validation, navigate to the solution ribbon and choose the DOE option using a script. At this point, we will need to specify the parameters XML file, the Python script, and the response XML file. All these files were automatically generated when we stopped and saved our recording process. We then start by defining our design variables and selecting the mode, minimum and maximum values and levels. Then, we click to view the suggested experiments for conducting a DOE study. After that, we click OK and proceed to run the solution. While the solution is running, we can easily monitor the status of each experiment and access the completed runs as new databases with results. Of course, all results are stored in the designated solution folder.